Give a man a fish, feed him for a day. Teach a man how to fish, feed him for a lifetime. I think this phrase means that if you give a person a fish, you give them food for that day, which is great for that day. But if you would teach them how to fish, they can get their own food every day and feed themselves over and over and over again. I think that is my philosophy on education. I think the most important thing is teaching students to learn how to learn, learn how to research, that type of stuff. So I really think in this case, I could care less if anybody knows how to look up the speed of curling, the Olympic sport. I just don't even think that's really important important. Uh, however, it's more more important is the fact that you can go take an, a random topic such as speed and how it relates to curling and find something. So this is how I researched it, how I looked it up. I'm not saying it's the best way, the, the, the right way, but it is a way that, you know, you just to go out and try to find some good resources. All right, this is weird because I'm I already recorded this research and now I'm speaking over the top of it, but trying to explain what I was doing. So if you can see, I typed into Google curling speed. So trying to find how speed related to the sport of curling. And I started looking at websites and it was just way too many um, things popping up. So I went and I put in curling Olympics speed. The problem is, is that just putting those three terms in, it's going to find Google's going to find anything that has those three words. And I found that there are a ton of articles about curling but later on it would talk about speed skating and it would talk about the Olympics. So it had all those words, but it really wasn't talking about the speed involved with curling. So I wasn't getting anything. So I went and changed speed to how fast. Okay, so I think that's, you know, looking at keywords and how can we say speed differently. Uh, and so I put how fast and I came up with resources. The first one I looked at was this one right here. Uh, and you can see I'm taking time on it because I'm kind of like, you know, skimming through the article and seeing what it's talking about. I don't really see them mentioning the speed. The video might be good. In this case, I didn't watch the video because I was recording this. However, in this case, I go back and I'm gonna go try to find some. So here I'm just kind of looking around, trying to, you know, you're like, what are you doing? But reading over like the descriptions of those websites, also looking at where they're from. If it's if it's something like, you know, trustworthy, I don't wanna to go to someplace ask.com because that's just somebody asking it. So I went to this website because it had a lot of the keywords. It seemed very related to the topic in the end though, I click away from it because I guess I really just don't get it. Like what this website is, news.lawreader.com. Kind of skeptical about it. So at this point I just back out of it. And still looking around trying to find one that makes sense. This one, the evolution from recreational game to Olympic sport. This one is talking about curling in pretty good detail. Now if you look at control F, up at the top. This is a very important research thing. Control F brings up that search bar up here. And then I type in the word speed and it'll bring up any time that speed comes up on there. And I did notice that when I did that, I found the word speed and it had some things that I thought were good that were related to speed. Uh, and so I, you know, I just was hi highlighting that there to show where I had found that. But that is because in that upper right corner, that's what came up when I hit Control F. So in looking at this, I do something else I think that's very important is that I like this resource. It has some good information. Not exactly what I want, but it does have some good information. So I want to keep it. I don't want to just get rid of it and not be able to find it later. So for right now, this is what I do. Back out of it. However, I go right click on it. And open it up in a new tab. So you can see I have that open in a new tab now. Or you can't see that, but it's up there. And now I'm going to go look for other stuff. So I can easily go click back on that in a little while because it's still up there as one of my tabs. But I'm going to go with something else. And now I went in and I put this, Science of Curling. And then I put Olympics just to make sure that we're talking about at the Olympic level. Well, this comes up, which looks like it's going to be the greatest resource there is. Science of the Olympic Winter Games, Science Friction Curling. It's supposed to be a video. The video's not there. So looks, this looks like a very, very cool um, set of videos however on this like the video is not there I don't know so I wanted I did want to look more at the site so I believe I do the same thing with right clicking it I gotta admit I'm thinking very hard when I do this you know sometimes people are searching around and they're clicking I see them clicking back and forth while they're talking to people when I'm doing research I'm typically looking at the screen and I really am I'm trying to skim and read for look for keywords and words that make sense and websites that are gonna be good so it's tough work I mean you're, you're really you're looking at everything trying to see what's going to be the best resource all right so backing out of this however i want to save that so i right click open it in a new tab but i'm going to go keep looking 
Now when I do this, I click on the science of the Winter Olympics curling. I think that very same video comes up and it comes up on YouTube. Well, this looks awesome. This looks like it's the science of curling. And it's from a, in a little while here, I highlight and say right there, the National Science Foundation. So I believe it's a very credible resource that's done very well. That is definitely, definitely, definitely something that I'm going to go back and watch. Now I just, I, I feel like I hit a jackpot when I did this because I... Um, you know, I have, I have that one, but I, I, there's just a bunch of really good topics right here, really good articles. Science of curling, this one from Fox News, and it's an article in here that does talk about the speeds of curling and et cetera, et cetera. Here again, I went to one where I found, this thing is a great point as well, right here I went and I found uh, this website. It looked excellent, Journal of Sports, Medicine, or Sports Science and Medicine. It was talking about curling and the, and the details with it. However, it's just like an abstract, like there's not, nothing there, there's not enough. I did not understand this website. What I did was I want to go and find this through a more direct route. So I go back into Google and I look at the topic of this and it says Journal of Sports Science and Medicine. It's about curling. I think what I do here is go like this, go back to Google and then type in Journal of, Sci of Sports Science and Medicine. Curling brings up this the very top one now is that article and that article right there I believe could be filled with a bunch of great information which is very closely related to this topic so I believe if you use this you can find a lot of good information if you have any questions please let me know